Hello everyone, it's Dave from Mad Valley. Today we are going to be unboxing this bad boy, the TB70 Super Combo. Got the, the kit only, Super Combo and the Top Combo. Super Combo comes with the same servos. A 130 amp hobby wing and a lower KV. Don't quote me on what it is, it's around the 450 or something. Um, I have not opened this kit, so run along with me and we're gonna open this for the first time. All right, let's get into this bad boy. Got my trusty stand and I don't know if you guys can see these bad boys black panthers they will cut anything including your fingers off grab a pair they're awesome for cutting anything i like them for cutting baggies all right so let's get stuck into it as you can see haven't opened it brand new seal let's check it out see what's in here going to not only unbox this but I'm going to do a, a build series which includes pulling it apart putting back together showing showing everyone how I put a helicopter together uh, I'm, I'm a uh, machinist by trade so I like tolerances and putting stuff together it's I actually like putting stuff together more than I like flying so um, and then we're going to address the issue of the belt and the motor and the frame and we'll, we'll do a little bit of an episode where we go through it and how we're going to fix it. Hopefully a line see this and correct it, not just by upgrading a belt. I have the upgraded motor mount and belt, but we will be installing it as per the kit and then I'll do a video of how to change it out. Right, let's get into this. See, a line's been like this forever. Always the same. We actually have, it looks like a micro beast. I didn't actually know it came with that. Well, there you go. It's, I'll have to check that out. I did not know. All right, interesting. Front here. The canopy. The canopy. Everyone loves a canopy. Let's get this bad boy out. Maybe we take this out and we get rid of the box, I think. I think that's the way to go. Gotta give it up for a line though. Packaging. It's pretty good. It's always been good. Nice. Crisp boxes. Something about a crisp box, isn't that a thick box? Let's check it out. What do we got? Oh, damn! It does look better in person. I haven't seen a photo that makes it look this good. Tower. I don't know if you can see it, but my old trusty tally has been with me for over a decade. I do like that colour though, because it's easy to see stuff, but we'll see how this goes. So, let's open her up. This is an unboxing. Alright. Nice. I do prefer it does have the align on it than the T-Rex. So, quite, quite the large size, which is good. Like a large, large towel. And <laughs> one canopy. Just putting it out there, this is my first 700. Been flying for since about 2010, I think, 2009. So 13, 14 years. First 700 I've had. 
630, 650, never a true 700. So I'm super excited. Got the general kit. We've got battery tie downs, belt holder, some other knickknacks in there, uh, possibly a uh, turnbuckle little tool, similar, not similar to what Saab supply, but uh, a lot smaller. We'll see how that goes. Uh, we've got some Loctites, zip ties, spare screws, kind of like a spare bag. It's nice getting spare screws from in your kit. Uh, we got a manual. Come on a line, black and white. Still has a line through the pages. Honestly, you really need to fix this. I, I don't understand this, copyright, whatever. Every manu other manufacturer doesn't do this. Let's get rid of it for next year or something. You need to sort that out. I'm telling you that now. A lot of uh, a lot of questions I've actually asked about what you really like in a kit and instructions and ease of the things that get and just how it goes together, the way you put things together, and uh, the instructions, color. We need to fix it. We need to fix it. Cool little. Uh, calendar put one on my desk at work show it off sweet everyone calls me stick banger at work that's me <laughs> that's me nickname at work we got a battery tray looks pretty cool nice red accents in there uh, everything sticky tape down what have we got trusty stanley here Like we've got the top side frames. I don't know the the white kind of what would you call it a black plastic extrusion around the outside. It's a love or a hate, I suppose. I think maybe it should be an option whether you want want it or not. Some people don't like it. I do heard I like the embossed align and it actually protrudes out of the frame. It's like a hot plastic and they stuck it on there. Could be a sticker, could just be like a hot the, the hot stamp, something like that. It's quite cool. I don't know if any other manufacturers do that. Don't know about the white. I know the, the 600, the TV60 coming out has gotten rid of the, the white vinyl. Maybe they listened. And mainframe. Is that the top? That's the bottom frame. Quite long, quite large. Interesting. Nice little accent down there. I like that. Nice. Doesn't have the rim around it. Uh, not sure if I'm liking this. Lost me knife now. That's silly. Definitely not coming loose. Definitely not coming loose. All right. Box one. Frames, manual, parts, canopy. Let's see if we can actually get some good color out of this. So carbon frame, carbon uh, canopy. A nice upgrade from a line. Very light, very flexible. Don't get that, that creaking when you're trying to put this on like the fiberglass. Nice anodized quick release. Um, definitely I'll be getting some, giving some feedback on quick release. Uh, how easy they are to go on, how easy they are to pop off. Do they pop off during flight or you know while you're getting ready to, to, to get out there on the field and go for a flight. It's not, probably, it's, it's not the brightest colors, but it's not too bad. It's not too bad. I do like that kind of colour. For my eyes, I, I do see that colour better. Yellow and orange. I like blues, greens. Yeah. It's, uh, it just kind of blends in and I, I lose orientation. One battery tray. Come on. 700s, we want to see two. This is one flight. One flight. It's things we can tone down on. I think already seeing the kit things we can tone down on and we can add an, a second battery tray. It's a, it's a very simple CNC with one clip here. Looks like the release is its own separate clip. We've just got one molding in it. Very cheap to make two. My two cents. 
Alright, don't ruin me calendar. Uh, put this down, go to the next one. What do we got? Still impressed with this. I don't want to open it, but I might have to later. Might have to. I've got a V-bar going on this, but good uh, good flight controller. Have an Align motor, nice big. Yeah, it's quite quite heavy. Looks like we've got five millimeter bullets. It's good, good to see. Double check the KV, so I know the Super Combo, you get the 23 tooth pinion, whereas the Top Combo, you do get the 22. Obviously a higher KV. Nice looking, so 490, I was close, I think I said 450. So, 490 KV, 4535. It's pretty decent, pretty heavy. It's interesting to see the power this thing puts out. I know people say Align motors don't put out the power but we will find out. Countersunk screws, they must align in a countersunk hole for centering. This is weird. Now, no flat in the shaft, but they do have a groove which has a rough scale finish on it in there. There's a couple little grooves in there. I'm not sure if there's a circlet that goes on. I don't know if I will just be leaving like that. There's <coughs> potential that I will be putting a flat in that. There's the last thing you need in flight on a hard pull somewhere, pulling the pulling on the sticks and hearing that zoom, and it's starting to fall out of the sky. I've learned from experience, I've done it once before. My first inverted, flipped it over, pinion come loose, first ever build was my T-Rex 600, pinion come loose, scrub screw, and luckily I was able to flip it over and bring it to the ground without smashing it up. We have servos. Honestly, never tried, never tried these new servos, so I'm interested to give these a go, check the speed and torque. What I do like, however, it's the little touches that doesn't work for everyone, but for this heli as being a super combo and just being able to put it together, the wires come at different lengths and they go in certain spots. So the wiring, plus on that, the wiring is very neat. You should be able to route it, zip tie it all nicely together. Probably could put it in a in a heat shrink tube if you wanted to. I like that little touch. So we've got a three cyclic and a tail. Nice static bags. Will not be using the Align um, servo horns. Seen someone else with a kit and they're just a little bit loose. And we all know what we all know what aluminium does when you crash. There's no giving it. You end up stripping gears. I know servo horns can be expensive. I I, prefer, I do like the the SAB servo horns. Uh, Mercado very similar. They might be kind of on the expensive side, but it's it works out cheaper without having to pull the servo apart. Servo gears are just a pain in the ass. So, it's a no on the servo horn for me. Again, these are all my opinions. This is the way that I do stuff. And a line branded hobby wing. I'm not sure if I'm a fan of this. I was kind of expecting a, uh, an actual hobby wing 130. Not this sort. I do know the 200 is an actual hobby wing. It's gray, it, it's, it's a hobby wing. It's, it's a beast of an of a ESC. Ah, let's, let's cut her over. Listen to this. Ha! Oh, serrated. What do we got? We have a, oh, we have a fan. It's a cyclone fan. What do we got? It is 9,000 RPM pulling 0.21 of an amp, six volt fan. And we've got some heat shrink in there. We have our um, ESC and BEC cables to our uh, fly ballast controller. 
pretty solid. It's a pretty nice job, to be honest. Uh, I'm going to trust the line and I'm not going to check these. I'm not going to cut them off. I'm going to leave them factory. I will be putting on RC Pro Plus. I think I'm using the S6s, so I like to solder my connectors. I don't know, there's just something about solderless. I just, I can't do it yet. People rave about them. I just, I just can't do it yet. I love to solder. I love to tinker. That smell, probably not good for me, but it's all those things. It's like, it's like race cars and, and fuel. It's, it's the smells that keep you going. Put this back in. Here we have the tail boom and the blades. Check it out. The glue. Glued the box instead of a fridge, save on cardboard. We have skids. Skids. Tail boom. Tail rod support for the tail server, for the tail. It is a lovely boom. Carbon boom, very light. Interesting, interested to see how this uh, adjuster, or I don't know, what, what would you call it? It's, it's kind of a locator adjuster. Keen to see how this works. And good old fashioned aligned blades. Some people love them, some people hate them. We'll see how they go. I haven't flown. Yeah, that, 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 that style of blade, the newer style, is actually not too bad. I think I've flown it on a 600. It's not too bad. Uh, can you give it a go? Let's see how the, see how the farts go. See how the blade farts go. Alright, last box. Let's see what's in it. My favourite part. I've, I've been itching to see this rotor head. It's... It's an impressive road ahead, to be honest. It's, it's beefy. It's a nice colour. Alright. Swash. I don't know. The red. Have they done too much with the red? I don't know. We're still... We're still with a stepped main shaft. Looks like a 12 to 10. Don't know if I have a swash leveler. Comes with a shim as per usual. We'll see how that goes together. There's one thing you do know is you know which way it goes. But a lot of people, a lot of manufacturers are just using straight shaft. Certainly makes for cheaper manufacturing. Cut them off, drill the holes, give them a chamfer, done. All right, we have, looks like a tail belt and a drive belt. It's a beefy, beefy tail belt by the looks of that. It's nice and thick. I like it thick. Uh, the tension is in there as well, put together. We've got motor mount, main shaft, uh, supports, other odds and ends to put the frame together, and the main shaft, main bearing there, the main hub that uh, sits at the top of the frame. Black, I like in the black. So everything's put together. Yes, it makes it for less packaging, but what's worth it? Putting things together and spending that time versus packaging. I, I wouldn't know what's quicker. I'm not into to manufacturing. I know all the little baggies that come with others, it could be time consuming. This actually could be quicker, but you've got to pull it apart. So the tail comes, the tail's together. I do like the, um, the tail, how it's got that, that wrap around it. We'll see how it looks. I may have got some, some yellow vinyl. I may, may stick some yellow vinyl in there to give it a pop. Got the boom holder and tail blades in there. Comment comment down below. What's, what's your thoughts on things coming together? Do you prefer things coming together and knowing how it goes together? Or do you like it how it comes in bags and you physically have to really read the instructions and, and put it all together yourself? I'm a... I'm a absolutely want it stripped in bags. I like to really piece it together and get the mind thinking. So like we have a nose, plastic nose for the ESC, canopy uh, little tongue, and 
ESC mount, possibly. Well, looks at that. Strut or skid holders. Interesting. Low profile, I like. Interesting. The heart, the drive, pulleys, main gear. Having come from the T-Rex 600 Pro and just seeing a small main gear, it's just, it feels weird, but I like the way they go. And last but not least, the rotor head. Uh, links, I would prefer to put the links together myself. And then why supply a tool if you've already put them together? But, uh, yeah, we got black and red, basically. Apart from the silver, a little bit of silver accents on the side where they've machined it. Yeah, that's it. Let me know your thoughts. Start some conversation. Um, welcome again. My name's Dave. Uh, you. Uh, this is the start of the TB70 Super Combo build. The next couple of videos, I'm just going to set them out into uh, different parts of the book. We're going to different assemblies. We're going to get some close-ups. We're going to show you how I like to put them together, how I measure, how I lube it, what I use for lube, um, and we're gonna go from there. So thanks for stopping in, I appreciate it. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Give us a thumbs up, and uh, subscribe if you wanna see this build video. Thanks everyone, see you